Today I want to talk about loving yourself unconditionally and this is something that I'm so passionate about because I really know that deep down we all want the same things. We all want to be happy, we all want to be loved and to love others. And no matter what it is that we're experiencing, whether it is low self-confidence, low self-esteem, feelings of unworthiness of being loved, or sadness, depression, anxiety. It shows up in so many different forms, but really it's a lack of abundant love. And the first place that you need to get that love from is yourself. And what I really started to see is that we were almost using love as a reward for good behavior. So when others compliment you on something, you can love yourself about that. Or when you look in the mirror and you see something positive about yourself, you can love that. Or you make a lot of money, you can love that about yourself. But when there's something about yourself that you want to change, you take away love from yourself and you hate that part of yourself and you reprimand yourself and tell yourself that that's bad and that you shouldn't be that way and it just really pulls all of your energy down and leaves you feeling worthless and sad and a lot of the time you don't even realize that you might be doing that to yourself but it just results in an overall feeling of bad, just not feeling good. And that's not what unconditional love is all about. You can want to change something about yourself, but that doesn't mean you have to take that love away from yourself or that you are not worthy of love. For example, say you look in the mirror and you see thighs that you wish were slimmer and you look at yourself and you think, oh gosh, that's ugly. Those are ugly thighs. I, I need to do this. I'm so terrible because I haven't been going to the gym. Other people go to the gym. Why don't I go to the gym? Or whatever thoughts that you think or you know, negative comparisons and pulling yourself down. When really, you can want to change and maybe improve upon something in your mind without having to not love that part of yourself. Instead, try looking in the mirror and saying, I'm so grateful that I have these legs. I, w I want to take care of them and I want to go exercise and tone them up a bit, but I love you and I love the fact that I have legs. And you see that's coming from a totally different place. So you can love yourself exactly where you are, even if you're, if you're not where you want to be in all aspects of your life. And I was trying to find an analogy to explain what I mean about this and I thought about a classroom of children and each of the children symbolizes a part of who you are. So your different uh, physical traits, your personality, aspects of who you are. And so say one of the children is your hair or things that you like about yourself. You give those, those kids A pluses and because they're A pluses you give them all of your love. But if the children that represent aspects of yourself that you don't love are getting C minuses. Does that mean that those children don't deserve love anymore because they didn't get a good grade? No, of course not, because with children, they all deserve love. You would look at them equally. Even if some are getting A pluses and some are failing the class, it doesn't mean that you need to take away the love from them. You can help them improve without telling them that they're not worthy of love. And that's kind of what we do with ourselves. And maybe it's something that we learn from our childhood because I know that it's not natural to feel unworthy of love. Babies are born giggling, bouncing, happy, feeling like they love every aspect of themselves. They're not criticizing themselves. It's something that we learn as we grow up and our society teaches us. And that's why I know that it's something that we can unlearn. Because if you learn something through repetition, then through repetition of self-love, you can get to a place where you really do love yourself unconditionally. And so if you're having a less than great day today and you're feeling down on yourself, you're feeling negative, you're feeling unworthy, unloved, I hope that this can just be a bit of a reminder that you are worthy of love. You don't need to change something about yourself to make yourself worthy of love. You already are. You're beautiful, you're wonderful, you're amazing, you're here on this earth for a reason, to experience joy, to experience happiness, and you deserve love just as much as every single other person out there does. So please know that, and I love you. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.